Hello friends, we are going to be talking about insulators and conductors today and I'm going to be connecting it to what we've learned with thermal energy but also connecting it to electricity. So I am going to divide this in half okay, and I am going to write, let me see, a line like that but also leave room up top here. I'm going to put allows energy to pass through. And then it stops or it's this slows down. energy. So we're going to call this the trucker because it keeps trucking on through. And we're going to call this one the hater because it doesn't let others through. This is the conductor. And this is the insulator. So when I'm talking about letting energy through, it's also letting electrons flow through or electrons not, um, not flowing through. So I'm going to divide this. I'm going to put this as electrical. We're going to be talking about electrical energy. And then we're also going to be talking about thermal on the bottom, connecting it to what we've learned already. So here are some conductors and some insulators. We have metals. Metals conduct electricity like aluminum, copper, iron, steel. And a lot of times they are used in a circuit, like we've learned, to help electricity flow through, that's supposed to be a light bulb, to turn on the light bulb. So electricity can flow through the conductors easily and turn on the light bulb. Now conductors of thermal energy are also metals. So if something is hot and it is a conductor, you can burn yourself very easily if you're not careful. Same thing, aluminum, copper, iron, steel. All right, other things that are conductors when we're using thermal energy is glass. So if we think about pots, what pots are made out of. I'm going to do my little burner down there. And that is my, that's supposed to be a pot. I'm not a very good artist here. All right, so now we're going to talk about insulators and we're talking about electrical. So these are things that will stop electrical current. We have glass, rubber, cotton. You'll see electrical wires covered in rubber because let's see here, oh, wood. That will stop the flow of electricity from going outside of the wire. So if you touch it, it won't hurt you. Plastic paper. Okay, those will all stop the flow of electricity. And for thermal energy, we have plastic, rubber, and wood. Plastic. That's why you would use a plastic or a rubber tip or a wooden spoon when you are 
stirring something. It doesn't make it as hot. You don't want to use a metal spoon because it'll make it uh, really hot. It'll travel up the spoon and burn you. Also wool, like an oven mitt. That stops the flow. That stops the flow of thermal energy so we can get something out of the oven without getting burned. So those are conductors and insulators.